Good morning, Rav Boisai. Ah, Lili Nishmas Imi Marosi Rusmas Mordechai. It's a beautiful, beautiful chasen last night. It's not that's not a chasen. First of all, Noam was the very, very first person in the shir. Period. The very first person in the eight minute daf that walked into my house, and the very, very first person walked into Chanichei and sat down. The very first person in the shir, Bemis. Namasaro, Rishon, Rishon. When I say Rishon, I mean Rishon. The son himself, Sruli, does the daf. Bez Hashem, he should continue. So it's a big, it's a big MDY chasana, huh? The same way you gave. Very nice. Now you want to know if he gave me a brach under the chuppah? If you have Mendi's chas, you know, you know the answer. Shkoya. No, I asked my chaver not to give me. Sandakos is something else. I'm not going to ask anybody not to give me Sandakos. I like Sandakos. I only got it twice and a half. One was an adult, a 20 something year old. He, I, he wasn't really on my lap, if you know what I mean. His head. No, no, if you have ever been. But okay. Welcome, Remendel. Shomalechem, Remendel. Shomalechem, Zevi Shuper. Who else do we have here? And all Choshev guests. Oh. You're the real guest. We, we knocked you out. He said, John, what's your name? Harry Perel. Harry from? Antwerp. 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 does the shir in Antwerp? Beautiful. I just found out yesterday, I didn't know this, that in Panama they do the shir. A guy sent me a whole voice and I, I, I don't know how to, how to play it here. Nach, Reb, Nach, Reb Nachman, I have an email for you. Hi, Rebelli. Hope everything is well. I'm so excited to see my buddy, Reb Nachman, sells it back at the shir. At times when... We, he was missing, I have screamed out to the screen when you've missed a couple of words, knowing that Nachman would have picked it up immediately. Your shir is beautiful and delicious, like a geschmacket chicken soup, where Nachman adds the salt to it. Oh, maybe the pepper. <laughs> Your Talmud from Meila, and the first guy to join the shir from Bar Park, Avrumi Libowitz. Now boys, let me show you. This is the first time I've ever done this. I took a screenshot of my phone. I know you guys have been doing it for years. I've never used this feature, and I'm not very good at it. But I want to show you Dove Harris's status. Here we go. Just wondering, how does your Maggie Cheer show Divya Rav and Divya Talmud? And he goes through this thing. That's. So you can do all this on status. It's like a little video. And then... Okay, and then the thing. Mendy, what was the point? I'm just trying to show it again. And there's a reason why 20,000 people each day experience Geschmack from Gemara like never before. And then it gives you the link on the next thing. This is how status looks. Shkoyak <laughs> Rabdol. Tor in Gaza, thinking of Rebbe, Avi Freulich. So Avi with Doron Kornblut, who's a oh, tour guide. One of a few, we have a few, I don't know if they're in the room, but Givaldic. So giving tours in Gaza. We're just friends. Just friends, friends. But okay, but still. Avram Saroy, good morning, Rabbi Isai. I noticed Rebelli has been focusing on everyone updating their WhatsApp status. While it's great and important way to spread the word about the share, I think you're missing the low hanging fruit. There's something called WhatsApp channels. I don't know what that is. Which allows you to post daily to anyone who adds your channel on WhatsApp. Check it out. We have channels. Okay. Dear Belly, first of all, I want to thank you for your amazing share. I recently started listening to this share and really enjoy it. My Chavrusa and I, both newlyweds, learning in yeshiva, had a debate if this concept is better to be a Pashta Tamad Chachem than a Go'in Hashem Aretz. Does that apply to guys sitting and learning in yeshiva all day? The argument is that the yeshiva system was set up First say there to learn bi'yun and second bikiyas. So this concept apply to all stages of life. Thank you very much, Dovi Green. So when you're in yeshiva, obviously you learn ion and a little bikiyas on the side. Obviously, daf yoimi is not to replace the yeshiva system. Daf yoimi is not the best way to learn either. It's the best way maybe for balabatim who don't have a lot of time. And it gives you that consistency. But when you we have commitment and... Ikviyot, how do you say ikviyot in English? Uh, consistency. I said it already. So I just say it in Hebrew, I don't know what it means. Um, yeah, Givaldic. So 
when you're in yeshiva, I think you should stick to it. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that for in yeshiva because it could be a very nice way to gain Yedir Satayra, Ben Azdarim, other things. But I'm not saying there's, there's better ways to learn than Dafyami and in yeshiva, they have a better way. Now, exactly how to learn in yeshiva, I'm also not getting into. I don't want to fight with all the yeshivas, how slow they go, with the Gdoilim, like uh, Rav Shach and the Stipler and all the, the Gdoilim before, how they said the speed, etc. Not going to get into it. That's a different argument. L'chvayt Rebelli, long time daffer, first time caller. I started the daff with MDY and Subis with one of the officials' $1,000 incentive recruitments. Wow. Back in the day. I can truly say you've changed my life. When I started the daff, I lived in Baltimore, Maryland. Now I live in Israel, Eretz HaKadosh, RBS, Gimel. And I'm honored to attend the Shir live every night. Bivrit. My father is undergoing his shunt revision surgery before Shabbos today. In Chuzlars, may we have our Rafu Shlema Bekarav, Michal Gershon Ben, Chava Rafu Shlema. Thank you for all you're doing, you've done, and continue to do for Klai Yisrael. Eli Maskowitz, Subas Dav Beis. It's a good thing he brought his picture here, because I, I don't know if I would have known who Elliot Maskowitz is, but now I do. A boy say the coil is not sponsored. The Mesech is sponsored by Anonymous for the safe and speedy return of all the hostages. Mazel Tov Aaron Rebelli, the time spoke with the birth of Sophie. Paris Achoydesh. Our frame it should be a schos to rebelli for continuing to add the Shema and teaching Torah to Klai Yisrael. Paras Shavua, Lili Nishmas, Hayuta Bas Moshe Aram. Paras Hayoyim, Shachar David for the yards of his father, Rafi David, Rafal Chaim Ben Saadio. And Shalom should have an Aliyah. Paras Hayoyim, Moshe Hafman, Lili Nishmas, Peril Bas Shmuel, Moshe Le Shalom. Then Shalom should have an Aliyah. Joanne Kessenbaum, Happy seventieth. Manny Pfefferman, Rebelli's Daf is an inspiring way you begin each day. Yossi Rosner, in memory of my mother's yard site. Rivko Bas Chaim Yaakov, Rivko Bas Rav Chaim Yankov. I just got an email from him. Is that you? Are you there, Rosner? That's not you. That's somebody else. Oh. I thought, who sent me? Did you send me an email? Hello, you sent me an email the other day? No, different person. <laughs> Elliot Maskowitz. Oh, Elliot Maskowitz, Rafu Shlema, successful surgery today for Michal, Gershom, and Chava. Amen. And finally, we haven't heard from him in over two days. Peretz Chaim Levin. Lili Nishmas, Dovo, Dvoira, Basmin, Yomen, Ole, Asholim, mother of very own Gary Ben Moshe. Someone that cares. But our Gary Ben Moshe, she should be a Melitza, Yeshara for the family, and may the family know no, no more sorrow. The anonymous for the schus, for an easy childbirth, his daughter, an healthy baby, that's the Parnas HaChodesh for the art. Ra Boisai, we're holding Daf Chesom and Beis on the bottom. We were in the middle of a sugya. Can you acquire an animal by riding the animal? You're not doing Yagba, you're not doing Meshicha, what are you doing? So, Rebbe Yehud is of the opinion that riding an animal is like sitting in a wagon. You, you could see that uh, the artist revised it. He's no longer holding on to the reins. He's just, his hand is behind his back like this. If you want to see again, no, oh, wrong one here. See, he's chilling. Rebbe Yehud says, that riding an animal is not kind of the animal. The problem is, what do we do with our Mishnah? The first Mishnah in Bamitzia says that people are riding the animal, they, they divide the animal in half. How do they make a Kenyan? The answer is, they kick the animal. They didn't just sit on the animal, ride, they, they gave it a little rub in the ribs. That, they were manik biraglov. And that's why they're kind of, not because sitting on the animal, roich means just sitting, not doing anything, not pulling the reins. That is not kind of coin to Rabbi now we're going to see if that works out with other braces and other caches that the Gemara has. Toshma. Shnayim shoyim moishchim begamol. Umanhigim bachamor. We have a very, very famous picture called Chamor Gamol from Masech the Seirvin. If you were with us then, you should remember this picture. The whole Maisa was, I think, the only time I ever bought, paid good money for this picture. You know, online they charge you money for pictures. I usually steal them and then we revise them. This one I actually paid. I don't steal. Somebody just wrote me 
an email. He says, chutzpah. He watched, so he didn't watch the shear. He saw that we used the picture from, in the shear I say, we have Rishos from our school. Our school gave me permission. So this guy has plenty of time in his hand and he writes me an email, a nasty one. Chutzpah, you're using the art school picture. Da, da, da. Watch the shear and listen to what I say. Okay, mamish. People have nothing to do with their time just to write into Magid Shurim and bother them. And hack them a China. You say, scream instead of scream. You said, scream instead of scream. Dos, yens. Okay, fine. People are the, Baruch Hashem, people have a lot of time in their hands. So, we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> chutzpah, you went to a guy writes me. Chutzpah, a guy from Lakewood. Big part of this year. I like him a lot. <laughs> Why did you go to the army base to make a seam in the army base? Uh, so you know what the bagat? I don't know what the bagat. I don't care about the guys. I'm doing a seam. Hakishkin Chayinik. Anyway, I'm not going to say the Shinar Baradim. Guy from Lakewood. Not anonymous. Trust me. A non-anonymous, non-anonymous from Lakewood. So it's going to Harvard to make a seach. <laughs> <laughs> write yourself write email. myself an email <laughs> this, this is how I those people vent in emails and I vent over here I'm the same as Shugan as them now yeah. now. that's right oh here we go here we go everybody vents in their own way anyways Hammer Gamel is that's the name of this guy Hammer Gamel why? because he's leading the camel and going behind the donkey that's exactly how it's done this is how it's done Typically speaking, you'll see in all the pictures in the desert, there's a, a guy dressed with this, I don't even want to say what he, uh, an Arab walking in front of a camel, in front, he's not in back, he's in front, with a donkey you walk on the side or behind. So the question is like this, two people are pulling the camel, they're in front, so that's normal, this is normal, but it's two people. Uma'anigim <laughs> b'chamor. Or two people are behind the, the donkey. Or one on one. Oh, I'll tell you this marshal. It's Gishmak and marshal. All has to do with the daf. Every marshal. This, uh, this donkey, he, they loaded him up a little bit too much. And they want him to like walk up this mountain. So he said, no, he refuses. So they give him a zet, another one, nothing, zero. So big chacham, uh, mumchem donkeys came and covered his head with a sheet and gave him a zet, so he took a step. Gave him another zet, made it up the mountain. He said, what's pshat? The pshat is that the donkey it was so heavy, he looked up the mountain, he said, no, no, I'm not doing this. Once he put the sheet on, he said, okay, one step I could, one step at a time. The dafiyoy in your voice, say. You look at it, you say, 2,711, impossible. You do one day at a time. We don't look at the whole thing. It's one step at a time. Put the blindfolds on, one, one step at a time. One hour per share, please. Umanigim v'chamor. Oishoyechem moishich v'echem manig. B'midazuz kanu. That's how you're kaina. The guy goes in front of the camel. The guy goes behind the donkey. Great. Rabbi Yudah will see what it means exactly. B'midazuz. Zeus. Rabbi Yudah Oymer argues. Now this is Rabbi Yehuda Oymer. Lo'ilam le'kona ch'te meshicha b'gamol. It doesn't work like that. You can't just go behind a camel. You can't go in front of a donkey. That's not how you kind of... The derech is to do it a certain way. You go in front, you lead a camel, you go behind the donkey. And the Mela, that's how it is. In Kinyanim, and that's how you kind of... You do it otherwise, you're not kind of, he says. So the Gemara is asking a question here. What's the question? Shalom Aleichem Reval Kubi, he was at the Chasen last night. Ah, he's still doing it. How long are you doing this year for? Since uh, Brachas. No way. Since Brachas? I mean, I've been on and off, but... You know, on and Brachas, oh. on again and Bab Metziah. <laughs> Shkoyach. No, no, you, you've, been on, you've been on more than off. I know. Hockey. Yeah, that's right. He wants to go on the cruise. We can't, sir. At the end, we're going to be stuck with a cruise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cruise committee. Somebody came in. Who was the one from Manchester? What's his name? I forgot his name. The guy just moved from Manchester. Saunders. 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 He came to me with, with, yesterday. He comes to me with the number of the guy that runs cruises. He goes, he's, you want to start talking to him? Like, no. <laughs> it talks about Meshicha and Hanaga. Man, isn't this a question of Rabbi Yudah? Rabbi Yudah says that 
I'm sorry, it's not a question. It's, a, it's actually a raya. We're talking about Meshicha, pulling animals, pushing animals, but it doesn't talk about riding on the donkey. Why not? You see that Rav Yudas right that you cannot ride a donkey. You're not kind if you ride on a donkey. We're talking about Kiyonim here. She mentioned one of the Kiyonim. Says Gemara, why did not feel the No, you are kind of riding. It's not a riot to review the. But the Kani Moshe Romanik. So why are we emphasizing only these two Kiyonim, Meshicha and Hanaga? La Pukim the Rav Yehuda, the Amar Shtei Meshicha begom of Hanaga bechamar from Ashmol on the Filu Yibchanami Kani. By the way, not to be confused, and I don't want to drain anybody a cup here. We're talking about Rav Yehuda. Rav Yehuda, Rav Yehuda was an Amara. He said that. You don't acquire an animal by riding it. And then the Gemara on the, on the top line talks about Rebbe Yehuda. Who's Rebbe Yehuda? Rebbe Yehuda bar Eloi, who was Rebbe's Rebbe. Rebbe, Rebbe Yehuda Anasi's Rebbe, the, the author of the Mishnah's Rebbe. The day that Rebbe Yehuda Anasi was Nifter, Rav Yehuda was born. Right? Think about it. Uh, Rebbe taught Rav, and Rav. Rav Yehuda, is, we just said yesterday, Rav Yehuda always quotes, Rav Yehuda always quotes Rav. And Rav is the Talmud of Rebbe. Rav Yehuda, Bariloi, is Rebbe's Rebbe. So because it's not so far away. Maybe 100 years away, 150, I don't know. A few generations away, but they're not, huh? Rav Yosef is the Talmud of Rav Yehuda. So when you see Rav Yosef, he's quoting Rav Yehuda. Okay, and you want to keep on going? And, and Abayo is the Talmud of, okay, fine. Very good. We could go on forever. You're right. No. I'm just trying to show the, the difference between Rebbe Yehuda and Rabbi Yehuda. A few generations. Rebbe Yehuda was a Tana. At the end of the Tanaim, he was more like a, a Talmud of yeah, Rebbe Kiva, whatever those. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Well, then, the, then you also have Eretz Yisrael. And, uh, but Bedar Kala, you're right. Rebbe is, is a Tana, Rav. But I'm just saying that they're not so far away. Rebbe Yehuda was all the way at the end of the Tanaim. Rabbi Yehuda was all in the beginning of Adam Raim. So, okay. Says the Gemara. But they're two different people, not to be confused. Rabbi Yehuda, the Amar Shtesh Meshicha Begom of Rabbi Yehuda, the Tana says that it has to be in a certain way. You have to pull the, the camel, you have to be in front of the camel, and you take a stick and you whack the back of a donkey. That's the way you're kind of. We're not talking about all the Kenyanim like riding a donkey. We're talking about the Kenyanim. That's the way you're kind of. We're not talking about all the kinyanim like riding, and that. it could be riding works also, but we're trying to say, not like Rabbi Yehuda. You can do it either way. Even if you go behind the camel and you whack him, you're kind of, and if you go in front of a, a donkey, you're kind of. So the language is not so good. Let's mix it up and just say it straight out. Two people were pulling and pushing. Doesn't matter what animal, it works. Says Gemara, it's not absolute. Why? There's one out of the four options, right? A camel has pulling and pushing, a, ca- uh, a donkey has pulling and pushing. There's four options. One of those doesn't work. And we don't know exactly which one it is. If you were to pull a donkey, it's mamish at a wag. It's completely the wrong way to do it. So that doesn't work. Mm-hmm. And some people say hitting a camel from behind doesn't work. It says in the Ikvas of the Meshicha, Pnea Dork Pnea Kelev. The face of the generation is like the face of the dog. So they explain that a dog pretends that he's in charge. He always runs ahead of his owner and he, he, Keely's in charge. Once he gets to a corner of a street, he gets confused. So he's looking and then he looks behind to see where, where the owner is going to go. So he says that uh, in the time of Mashiach, the leaders, the Manigim, are going to start looking behind them to see, to ask Klai Yisrael, what, what do you want me to say? What should I do? How do you want me? What direction do I go? They're going to ask. They're not going to have enough guts to stand up and, 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 and be manig. This the Moise Mesefa, and some say it's the same thing, Rabbi said, the same sugya, just from the last part, from the words that say, Bemida Zukana. This is the way that you're going to be kind of these animals. Bemida Zula What does it mean this way and not what? Lavalim Mutirachov. Doesn't it come to exclude riding an animal that it's not kind of, not like Rabbi Yehuda? Loi Muti Ibcha. It's coming to say that if you do it the opposite way, you're not kind of, that if you push a camel 
or pull a donkey, you're not going to. Yachi, I know that's exactly what Rebuda said, that you can't do the opposite way. No, it's only one out of the four ways it doesn't work. It's not Rebbe Meshichah B'chamar. Some say it means pulling the donkey instead of pushing it. Some say pushing a camel instead of pulling it. Tashma. Nusogi, Rabbi say Nusogi. Oh, we have a nice picture. I forgot to show this. Hanagi B'chamar. Finally, after the Tzogi is over. Here's the Hanagi B'chamar. Beautiful. Tashma. David, where's the, where's the zoom? We should put the zoom on, the covered with Mendel. Mendel's here. Oh, here's zoom in the second. Look at that. Everybody say hello to Remendel Learner. Here, you say wave to him. You have Remendel? Okay. Toshma. What's the point, Mendy? What's the point? <laughs> you hear that? Toshma. Like, Eli, enough of the zoom. Thank you. What's the point? Huh? I see Mendy, you Mendel, it's two different. Yeah, you say, okay, so you like it. That's why, keep on going, man. It's for you. Toshma echad rochov chamor veechad tofes be Meseira. Meseira is this bridle, it's called in English, this, this thing that goes around the, the, the horse's head. You don't see it. Oh, because he's on Zoom, that's why. Dave, enough with the Zoom? Mendy said enough with the Zoom. What's the point? Are you able to get him off? The stock. That's it. We're the oh, here's the bride on. This thing that, that holds the uh, reins. Now we're not so we're not really talking about the reins in the beginning of the sugi. At the end, we do go into the reins. It seems like there's some sort of jump to the reins. But Maisera would mean the leather part that's strapped to the animal. One guy is on the donkey, and one guy is grabbing the Maisera. He thinks that if he grabs the Meisera, he's going to acquire this donkey from the Hefker, whatever it is. It's a Metziah somewhere. Uh, let's say a Ger died. I don't know what. Zeh, Mamish Nafir. The guy riding the donkey, he acquires the whole thing. So if we stop here, we see what? That riding is a Kenyan. Zeh, Zeh, The guy that grabbed onto the Meisera, he is the guy that only gets a Meseira. I'll tell you this, uh, I have to say it in a Loshan Adina maybe. It's a, it's a nice Machshava. Uh, a guy comes to the rabbi, he says, the Rav, it's Erev Yom Kippur, I need a Tikkun for the big Avera I did. Well, what was the Avera? So I stole, I stole a leather strap. So Rav says, okay, so give it back. He says, no, I can't give it back. It was, it was, it was tied to a horse. So I, I took the strap, I took the horse. So he says, uh, so, so give back the horse. No, no, the, the horse was tied to a wagon. So, <coughs> can't. so give back the wagon. He says, there's, there's two kids in the back of the wagon, so I got rid of the kids. So, ah, so, so what's the nimshal? I think, no bad mess, I, I heard this, is like, I think we all minimize our affairs. You say, I only, mom is stealing a lot. It was a little, I took the wagon. I, I spoke a little Lashon Hara. This guy, this guy is Nebuch now. He has no Shiduchim. That's another problem. I just said two words. No, no. You have to think about the whole the ramifications, the whole thing. Don't try to minimize. It's not the string. Don't fool yourself. It's not just a string. Okay. It's not Neget our Sugya, really. But I, I, I was talking about a, a string here. My Sarah says, okay, fine. Shmami no. Rachav <coughs> Kani. So you see from here that riding the animal is Koina and Nebuch, the guy that's holding on to the bridle, is not Koina. It's Koina, a little bit of bridle. So it says the Gemara, not a Raya. Oh, actually, we have a nice picture here of a guy riding the animal and the guy holding the Misera. See, actually, I know the original picture didn't have him holding the Misera like that. But it's clear he's holding the Misera. We're going to jump. What he did over here, just to show Manik Baraglov again, it's very subtle, but the beginning part, you look at his shoe, and you see Manik Baraglov, boom. That kick is what's kind of the animal, not the fact that he's on top of the animal. There's no raya, because Rabbi Yehuda was, Rabbi Yehuda was talking about when he's on top of the animal, not doing anything. That's not a kingdom. Kicking the animal, making it go fast, or m- moving, that's what's kind of. Yahachi niknanami rochav If he's such a... <coughs> He's such a koina, he's so in charge. 
let him also acquire the bridle. Why? Says Rashi, let's say there's, you, you adorn the animal, you put a tachshit on the animal, you put some, I don't know what, a crown, whatever it is on top of the animal. They do that, jewelry, whatever it is. So whoever acquires the animal acquires the jewelry. So why is this any different than jewelry? It's part of the animal. It's, it's, on, his, it's on his head. So you should be kind of... So you're right. Not only did he acquire the donkey, he got also half of the bridle. That Nebuch guy that wanted to acquire the whole donkey, he doesn't even get a whole Meisera. He gets a half of Meisera. Says the Gemara, but we have to understand. According to what we learned yesterday, When you have two people, two people holding one talus. So the way it works is that each person, we said, each person has to have kavana to acquire for the other person. Because each person is actually limiting the other person from acquiring it. If the talus was like this, you don't acquire it. Why? Because you didn't do agba. You didn't lift it up off the, off the floor. So if a, another person is holding it, you didn't lift it off his hands. So how are you acquiring it? So it has to be that I have kavana, that he should be kaina, and he, should, he has kavana that I should be kaina, and we're both kaina together. Otherwise, neither of us is kind of a third guy could come and grab this talus away. So over here, we have a problem because the bridle is on, is on the donkey. The guy on the donkey is not holding the bridle. So if it's on the donkey, it's like it's on the floor. The guy that's lifting up the, 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 the bridle, okay, he's making a Kenyan, but, but the other guy is opposing him. But the other guy's not lifting it. The other guy's not helping the guy that's holding onto the bridle. The guy holding onto the bridle is helping and having kavana for the guy on the donkey. It's a one-way street right over here. Says das. The guy on the donkey, the other guy has kavana to be kind of for him, so at least he gets half. But the guy holding onto the bridle, but my Connie, how is he kind of? Oh, so now we have to amend this as well. Now we're limiting even more. The guy on the donkey gets everything. The guy holding onto the bridle, what's ever in his hand, he's kind of. Maybe this is what, it's not really, uh, let me just see. It's more like this. So the guy on the, hmm, no, that's, it's later and what we had before. Yeah, this is not, this is not Mama shit yet. Go back. What? Who? <laughs> Correct. But of course he has that for himself. But if he has that for himself, he won't be kind of anything. Because the other guy's opposing him. So the only way you could have, you, you, you're forced into being a nice guy and having that for the other person. You're forced. That's what I was telling Srili yesterday. It is. Oh, so in this case, it's a big problem. That's what we spoke about yesterday. I'm only going to do and have you in mind if you have me in mind. If you're going to have me in mind, I'll have you in mind. We'll, we'll work for each other. But over here, not. And that's exactly what the Gemara is going to say. It only works if both of them are going to gain something from it. I'll gain half, you'll gain half. So in order for me to gain half, I'm almost not going to gain anything. I'm going to lose everything. So I have to have you in mind. And you're going to lose everything, so you have to have me in mind. And like this, both of us will make a king on half, on half of it. That's if we're acting fairly over here. I have a mind for you, and you have a mind for me. But in this case, the guy on the donkey is not having me in mind. He wants to take 90% of it. He's leading me with whatever my fingers grab. That's nothing. The guy that's grabbing onto the bridle to the reins, whatever you want to call them, right now it's the bridle still a little bit. He doesn't have anything. He do, he, why would he have the guy on the donkey in mind when he himself doesn't get anything out of it? Why should he help out the guy on the donkey? The only way the guy on the donkey is kind of the whole bridle is if the guy on the ground has him in mind. What if the guy on the, on the ground doesn't have a mind? He won't be kind of the bridle. So why should I do all the work? I'm holding on to the bridle. I'm giving you 90% for me to get 10%. Not fear. So Mimela, I won't have you in mind. If I don't have you in mind, you don't get anything. Omar Avashi, 
זה קונה חמור ובייס פגר, וזה קונה מה שטופס ביודוי, והשאר לא קונה, לא זה ולא זה. זה זה נכון עמי. I'm not doing you any favors. So therefore, you're not going to be kind of any of the reins, but you'll, you'll acquire the bridle that's on the donkey because you're part of the donkey. You got the donkey, part of the donkey. I grab a little bit of the reins, so I get that part that I grab. Why? Because it's in my hands. The guy on the donkey is not helping me, so I don't get half. And I may let all the reins, the reins that are not being held, not by the donkey driver, not by the other guy, hefker. Anybody could go and grab it. That the guy on the ground grabbing the bridle, like this here, let's show this picture again. The guy on the ground holding the reins, he, he acquires the entire bridle, everything. That was the initial thought of the Gemara. The guy on the donkey gets the donkey, the guy that grabbed the bridle gets the whole bridle. What's the pshat? So it goes like this. If this talus is on, you see, do you see this, Dave? No. Back it up a little bit. Are you able to back up? Okay. Maybe move this talus thing for a second. Pull that a little that way. The talus more this way. Yeah. Okay. This Gemara, okay. This ta- if I go like this, I'm not koina. Why? Because the talus is on the ground. I can't be koina. Half is in my hand, half is on the ground. I didn't do, I didn't do this. If I did this for a second, I'm koina. Oy vey. What is this? Oh. What if I have this? Go like this. Now I'm koina. Right now I'm koina. Why? Because all I need to do is this. Oops. Why is that because on the ground? It is on the ground, but it's high up. It's high up. And I have the ability to go like this. I could be monotic it. I could just dislodge it for a second, and then it'll fall. And when it'll fall, it'll be in the air for a millisecond. And as it's falling in the millisecond, I'm coining it. Boom, before it hits the ground. It's a svar of, I could, it's like a migui. I could pull it. I could go like that. Okay. So the Gemara doesn't like that svar. Because then, you're making nafkuminas. If it's on the ground, it's like this. If it's over here, I could go like that. And if it's over here, I could do this. But if it's over here, I can't. Do it. it doesn't say anything. It doesn't say any nafkamina where it is and how it is. If I don't pull, if I don't have the whole thing in my hand, I'm not quite. Enough. What's the svara? Because I could bring it to myself. Fine. Says the Gemara of Adra Bavo, Berusahi, or Bedusa. Bedusa is like a joke. Kids are. It's a nice way of saying that it's not so accurate. Here we have a little bit of a picture here. Not a, here, you have a talus on the amud. Yeah. Is this different than the talus is on the ground? According to what you just said, yes. Because I just have to pull it a little bit and it goes flying off the amud, off the beam. The guy that lifted it off the ground, even though it's still on the beam, should be kind according to you. What happened in this case? Another second person came and grabbed it off the beam. According to what you just said, the Kamakoni, the first guy who was kind of, since he could, he has the ability, should be the first guy. We don't see any nafkamina like that anywhere. It's slightly a mistake. Toshma. Very interesting. We have it till, the, till this very day, especially here in Eretz Yisrael. Um, so these guys in Koilo, I see them walking to the bus stop. They wait by the bus, they wait. So I, 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 spoke, I spoke to them a few times. So why don't you, why don't you get a, like a scooter? A thousand, three hundred, four hundred dollars uh, for a couple monthly things on the bus. You, you, and you get home in two, three minutes. You have to wait for 20 minutes for the bus. And besides, there's a problem with sneers. You're st- standing there with women, then you get onto the bus, you push around with women. It doesn't pass so much. So, no, if I ride a scooter, my kids won't get married. They won't have shiduchim. So there's a certain, like certain communities you can't. When I was a kid in Bnei Brak, very chashed people, big, long, white beard. I even had pictures. I used to drive Vespas. And they had a little seat next to them. And the wife would sit in the seat. A whole matzav. With the generations. 
Nishtanu atfoim, the things, everything changed. We became better in mention in different communities, whatever. Some people don't care. My cover was flying around with a yellow helmet on his scooter. Remember that? Thanks. What, what about Bittal Taira? It takes you an hour to get home instead of three minutes. Okay. Each person in their own thing. It, it didn't start today. We had it in the time of the Gemara. It's past Nisht. Now, if you're riding in a field, great. If you lead your animal in the city, great. But what if you're on top of an animal in the city? Hashem Yirachim. Hachanami. So what is, it says Mufurish that if you ride an animal in a field, you're kaina. <laughs> Rabbi Yehuda says, you're not kaina anytime if you ride an animal. So you have to say, Yochanami, Manik Beraglov is not talking about this Rachov, he's talking about he gave him a good zet, a shtois. I don't know if shtois works here. A shtos. A jocha. A jocha. A jocha. Man Rebbe, the Kaiman is from the Yemen, a jocha. That wasn't the right way to say it. But, anyways, Yochanami, Manik Beraglov. Yochi, Hainu Manik. So what's the difference between leading an animal or kicking an animal? You're, you're both, both are leading. As we had yesterday, there's a chiddush that even though you're on top of it and you're leading it, you're still not better than the guy leading it. So if you're doing this in a city, why is that not good? Says Rashi, it's not sneers. It's not, it's not, it's not tsenua to ride in the city. Lifting up a wallet on Shabbos. For boy's side, what mukta is a wallet on Shabbos? Huh? No, chesar and kiss is a mukta that if you have a very valuable item like a like a, a mila knife or a beautiful painting, chesar and kiss. Huh? Machmas Sisser? No. Machmas Sisser would be a hammer. Is Machmas Sisser? Huh? He's right. Life is right. Huh? If it's a lot of money inside, City? is it not? Why is it? What do you think is inside the wallet? Toilet paper? Some people, yeah. Credit cards. Oh, okay. So if it's toilet paper, it's not mukt at all. It's very usable. But if, it's, if it has money inside, money is mukt and machs gufai. It has no usage on Shabbos. You can't open up a, a, a fruit with it. You can't purchase anything with it. So it's like a stone. It's one of the worst. No, you don't cover about with it. It's one of the worst muktas ever. Because if you have a hammer, I can move it away. If I need the place, I can take it off my seat. If I need to sit down, if you have money in your seat, you can't. Okay, fine. Please, Just... What are you saying? Muktam machmasiser. Muktam machmasiser. What's the? So that so, and it's different than. Is that different than money? There is. Right, so that was more, that's Mahmaz Gufoy. It would be more Mahmaz Gufoy. Okay, fine. So, that's exactly what I said. That's Mahmaz Gufoy. Anyway. It's not the derech of human beings to lift up a wallet on Shabbos. The famous Maisa, there's three Hasidim. Chassid said, My Rebbe is unbelievable. There was once a giant fire and there's people, so he said, fire him, fire her, and he walked right through the fire. The other said, yeah, that's garnished. My Rebbe, there's a guy drowning, he said, vasa him, vasa her, went in there. He says, that's Gashmius. He's talking about Gashmius. My Rebbe, when it comes to Ruchnius, he could do it also. He, what happened was, he was walking on Shabbos, and he saw a wallet full of cash. He said, Shabbos ahin, Shabbos her, and he grabbed the wallet. But that, Rabbi said, that's why it says over here, B'nai Adam. It's not the derech of any adam, but malachim, malachim, they could pick up. Okay, fine. Anyway, <laughs> you're moicha. He's moicha also. I didn't mean his rebbe. <laughs> you, need, you need to make him a chaf. I'm, I'm waiting. What? What's the point? He said. He said, "What's the point?" Beautiful, beautiful. No, it's not true. You have to be moicha. It's not true. Not what the point. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, so Hakanami the Lakani, what? Says Gemara, Lamaisa at the end of the day, you made a Kenyan Hagbah. Who cares if it's Shabbos, not Shabbos? Who cares if it's Sapasnas? I'm not gonna have Shiduchim if I if I do this, I ride the animal. So you won't have Shiduchim, but you made a Kenyan on the animal. What's how does that stop the Kenyan from happening? 
The Kenyan works. We're talking about that there's two people involved here. I'm buying something. I want you to acquire it only in one way. The way that's normal for people to be to acquire it. And therefore, and this is the halach lamais in the Shulchan Aruch. If you ride an animal in Shusha Rabbim, why? Because you, you are, you're an amusement park. You hold on to your, to your child really tight. You don't want him to get lost. You're in the airport. Over here also, you're in Shusha Rabbim. People coming and going. There's animals everywhere. You hold on tight to your animal. You ride the animal. Sorry, you ride the animal because you, you don't want to lose it. The Adam Chashavu, Kani. And the very chash of a person, like a Rebbe, imagine, we had Tanaim riding the, the, the donkeys. So that's normal for them. So that's, that's within what the seller said. The seller said, A woman is weaker, she's worried that she's going to lose her donkey, so she, she, she rides the donkey instead of leading it. And if he's a pushed, uh, whatever that means, a very a simple, a simpleton, who, Connie? He also, okay, fine. Surpassed him. A guy says, You see these two sacks full of gold? I want you to be kind of with my animal, but I don't want you to, to acquire the animal. The animal is mine, it's my car, I need my car. You purchase these two sacks, make a Kenyan through the animal. <laughs> so, first of all, let's get the, the, the technicalities here. Lick noise. How can he be kind of me? Omer like knee. He didn't say the word kine, which okay, he did tell him pull it, lick noise, but it, no, it, you have to say kine. You have to be accurate. Okay, so fine. He did say kine. Okay, we're talking about a case. Don't don't try to get into technicalities. We're talking about a case. He said kine. He said all the right words. Does it work or not? It's like. If I pull the animal, which is not mine, am I acquiring the kalim? Omarava, oh, sponsor. Turn it down. Innovations I'll see now my uncle Rebbe Chanan Pressman at the school for Akiva Simcha Ben Fega. And near Tommy to Baltimore, Maryland, an honor official in Simcha Gross, thanks to them, 137, 137 people. You throw out the number, 137 people. Learn. 16,000 dollars from Gemara. Somebody just wrote me an email from there, told me maybe I'll read it the next day, whatever. He said, I'm continuing, of course, I'm continuing with Bob Metziah. Over 700,000 minutes of Torah. And we're Messiah Baba Khan with MDY. Omar Rava, wait a minute, stop, says Rava. You're talking about a case that he didn't acquire the animal, he just wants to acquire the Caleb. What about if he tells him both? It also doesn't work. Yomar Lei Knei Behema, Uknei Kalim, Ukni Kalim, Mikoni Kalim. It's a walking chatzer. We have a beautiful picture from Baba Kama. I love this one. One of my favorites. It's a walking chatzer. Your yard, your chatzer acquires for you, but not a walking one, not a moving chatzer. There was uh, the famous Maisa, maybe it happened in Chicago, maybe it didn't happen at all. There's a guy who says, I want to build a sukkah in my parking lot. So the owner of the building says, absolutely not. No sukkahs in the parking lot. Why not? You have 20 extra spaces. No, no Jewish sukkahs. You, you people were not going to have, whatever he said, okay? He didn't let him build a sukkah. So the guy went and got a chatzim ha'aleches. And uh, he, he, he built a sukkah on a truck. And the truck he could park there. The, the guy can't tell him not to park a truck in the parking lot. And Mela, so this is a big shaila. What is a car? Is a car a chatzim ha'aleches not? First of all, so for sukkah, of course, it works. You're allowed to build a sukkah on a, on a boat, etc. On a wagon. But there's halachas lemais, and we'll see in a second, maybe there's a difference. It says the Gemara like this. I'll tell you, what happened was, there was Caleb, and he was walking with the donkey. As soon as the donkey stops, now he acquires the Caleb because it stood still. That doesn't work either. If this donkey could walk, since he has the ability to walk, so even if he's standing or sitting, it doesn't work. It's a moving, it's considered a moving chat. Remember, we had this with the slave. If you tie down the animal, so now it's a non-moving object. 
So it's tied down, it would work. So they told Rava, if you were on a boat, you to dog him, here we go. It's a scary ride over there. As long as they're not piranhas. <laughs> I don't think they can do anything out of the water. But anyway, if a fish jumps into your boat, so, how do you acquire the fish? Says Gemara, There's a svar here. A boat is stationary. So therefore, the chatzar is kaina. It's the water that's moving. They, they didn't have engines then. It's the water that, that makes you move. It's the, 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 whatever it is. So that's why people have a shayla. What about a car? Some people want to go as far as saying that a car also stationary just has an engine inside that moves it. But the car itself, okay, not getting into it. But that this different as far as different things. What about an airplane? Airplane certainly, well, if it goes in the speed of the ear, then it'll be like the ear moving it. But since it goes faster, I don't know. I'm not a rov. But it's interesting. It's interesting as far as the boat is just stationary and the water is moving. If a woman was walking down Shus Rabbim and the husband threw a get into the, the point is this one, the kalta. Here's the picture. Now look at look look what happens here. It's Pasha why he divorced her because she had those fancy uh, sunglasses. <laughs> oh, he threw a get into her basket. Is she not divorced? Now, of course she's divorced. How do I know she's divorced? Because it's a Mephorosh Mishnah that says that if you throw a get into a woman that has a walking basket, she's divorced. But according to what you're telling me, it's a moving basket. It's a moving chatzar. The basket is not moving. She's walking underneath it. She's the one moving, not the chatzar. And that's why it works. Says the Heilige Mishnah, sponsored by Moshe Cohen, Schos for Ratzlacha, Gdoyla, and Parnasa, and Ruchnius. He's on top of an animal, and all of a sudden he notices a great find, a lost object. Give it to me. No. What well, we learned? You can tell somebody to acquire something for you. But if not, he's a chisiba. Here we, have, we even have a picture of what happened. There. He's walking, he's, he's on his animal. He can't reach it, of course. He tells the guy, he sees socks and the wise socks. Lift them up for me. So the guy says, okay, great. He's going for pointing it out to me. He lifts it up. I want it for myself. He takes it for himself. Zachaba, just because you see it, you can't be kind of with Ria. We'll just see. However, but if he gave it to him, first he gave it to the guy on the horse. He said, oh, you know what? I meant to, to get, grab it for myself because one of his friends told him, oh, you could have grabbed it for yourself. It's too late. It's not awesome. Beautiful sugya. So peya is one of the gifts that you give a poor person. You leave him in the corner of the field. a poor person, you leave him the corner of the field. Comes a random person and says, you know, I have a neighbor who's very poor. Let me grab the wheat and give it to him. He says, Rashi can't be the owner of the field. The owner field is excluded. You can't decide who to give the 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 the, the matnois ani to. So some rishonim say, but wait a minute. According to Gemara later on, you could be mafkir in a chasim. So he could be mafkir's field, and then he becomes ani. Then he could give it. Then they say no. That also doesn't work. It's a special zero that you cannot. You can never give your paya to whoever you feel like, even if you're mafkir in a chasim. So what if a random person off the street comes, grabs it, kind of from the hefker, so to speak, and decides which, which I need to give it to. Rilez Oymer, Zachalai. Rilez says, it works. She give it to the very, very first Oni. A Maisa, a guy comes to the Rebbe and says, I'm marrying off a kid, what should I do? So he says, go to Chutz Laretz and collect money. He says, I don't know what to do. I don't speak English. When I'm going to go to Chutz Laaretz and suck, where do I go? How do I? He says, you go with Bitachen. You go with Emunah Nakhlesh Baruch Hu. 
Everything will work out. So he comes to America. He's there for a day. He walks into the shul. He walks over to the guy. And the guy says, uh, how much is the chasana? So he says, you know, how much, the chasana, how much does the chasana cost there? <laughs> it's not like in America. Okay, whatever. $20,000. Okay, just throwing it out. $20,000 depends if you're doing Kinar David or the other place. Whatever, you can do it cheaper. $20,000. So he says, $20,000. He pulls out a checkbook, writes him $20,000 check, gives him the check. The guy couldn't believe it. He goes back to Israel. One stop, one check. Next year, of course, he goes back to America, goes into the shul, goes up to the guy. The guy says, how much is the chasana? He says, $20,000. He pulls out his checkbook, gives him $18. So $18? Well, what do you do? So the guy says, listen, I, I had a big tsara. I told the, the Rebbeinu Shleil, the first Ani that comes to me, Ani about Rishoy, the first guy, I'm, I'm paying the, the, whatever he wants. Bikachava. So he goes back to the Rebbe and he tells the Rebbe the Maisa. The Rebbe says, yeah, first time you went with Bitochen. You went with full belief. Second time you thought, oh, I know how to get it already. I know how to do it. I'm going to go to this guy. Ah, you don't have Bitochen? $18. When I was on the latest talks, podcast in Yiddish, so the guy across from me, I don't remember his name, Chuli something, something like that. He's uh, Sean Brand's uh, brother-in-law. So he said, he really, really wanted to go to the Rishim Baichai. He really wanted to go to the Rishim Baichai's cave. Yeah, like this Meshicha, the whole, he, he couldn't afford it. So Imamish Davin, it's Shakush Baruch, also Imamish that day, he gets a phone call. He says, hey, Chuli, you want to go? You want to go to the, go to the Rishim Baichai? Come, let's go. And I took him. He said, he learned the whole way. He was, he was in, he's in a different world. He couldn't believe it. That from, from Davin, from Bitochen, in, in, a, in a minute, like that. Okay, we have to have Bitochen. Says the Gemara. Oh, itnena laani hanim to rishoy. Oh, mu la hamer mshuva levi. Machleg is marshal laani. That's if a wealthy person, a person that's not eligible for this uh, food for the ani, the matnis aniim. So machleg is whether a wealthy guy could grab and give it to a poor person. The rebbe lezes saw our migul di boy mafke nixei vav ani the chazilei. A person has the ability to become poor in one second. He has $10 million in the bank. He's just half good to the world and he becomes poor. And if he becomes poor, he could grab this matas anim. He could take the, the $3 worth of tfua. And therefore, he could give it right now, even though he's wealthy, he could give it to whoever he wants because he has the ability to become poor. I have a question for Dalai What kind of migu is that? What normal person would take $10 million and throw it in the toilet? So that it could have a little bit of wheat. So the answer is that I myself know a few people that have done it. Bemis. How? For a little wheat. What's wheat? Wheat is, he's hungry. He wants to eat now. I know people that for one taiva, one taiva, they threw, they threw away millions of dollars, their marriage, their children, and everything they had, all their friends and everything. Bemis. I know a few people like that left the community because of one stupid decision, one type that they couldn't control themselves. So there's also, I get the hint, I get the hint, I get it. It's already 8 o'clock. So that's somebody traveling. Yeah. Might have a million dollars. Yeah, but he's starving right now. So Correct. There's no extra yeah, but he's doing it for another person also, Ani. Okay, I'm just saying the idea. Don't, it's not such a far-fetched idea that people throw out everything they have for one minute of a taiva. Says the Gemara, Chaim, you're going to oh. And now, so, the, so one migui is, I could become poor. The second migui is, This is a beautiful migui. If I could acquire it for myself, I could acquire it for my friend. And what does this have to do with anything? This is amazing, because if a person feels that he was zoichel, like, like the daf did something for his life, he's zoichel and afshei, so then you have to be mezakil You have to talk, you have to tell your friends. Migui, but akoponim, they're abundant savory, that's great. So you have a migu that I can become poor. And once I can become poor, I could acquire for myself. And once I acquire for myself, I have the ability to acquire for somebody else. But that's a double migu. Abundant savory, chav migu amir. I could say, since I'm already poor, I could acquire for myself. So therefore, I have the ability to acquire for you. But trade migu le amir, but to say, but I could also become poor in order to be zoichim myself, that's already a double step. Two steps we don't say. To become Step number one is, I'm wealthy, I could become poor. 
And now that I'm poor, step two is, I'm poor and I could acquire for myself, so therefore I could acquire for somebody else. That's two steps. But if he's already poor, then I could be zakh for somebody else. According to everybody, the migu zakh lav shei, zakh na mi Raboisai, have a wonderful day. Matzei uh, Shabbos, 8.30. Shkoya. And if you're interested in Mincha at a quarter to two, we'll say to Hillim for the Matzev in Eretz Yisrael. Shilam Aloy, Sasoy Nailo, Rima Yavoy Zri.